we're gonna enjoy a game between myself and Believe. Who had just a slight lack of faith in my skill. We'll find out how the game progresses. So, I'm gonna start off with traditional rifle build in the human mirror, which you never do, really. You shouldn't. You always go Archmage, but I don't know. I just sometimes fancy it. I think it's Sonny's fault, to be honest. He inspired me with this build, and now I can't seem to stop trying to do it, even when I know it's a bad idea. So he didn't even send a footman to scout here, which means that he's going for an expansion or something, because he's taking everything he can. So he goes right for a fast expansion. So I'm like, okay, I can do that as well, but I've got rifles, and rifles are better than footmen, right? Until footmen get defended. I'm gonna just deal up with that, take my circlet, and move on. He's got the claws of attack, lovely item. He starts this creek camp. I roll right past, pretty good timing for me actually, because I go right past without him seeing. That was actually very lucky in that sense, because he's just narrowly out of vision. And I'm like, hello there expansion, how you doing? Maybe I can pick up a peasant, perhaps the tower, very easy. And then we get some fun times with Paladin versus Archmage, Footman, and Rifle. He really wants to get us around. I don't let him get that. If I let him get us around, I can lose the game just there, to be honest. Thanks Dr. The Scientist content. Man, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, wow, thank you very much indeed, good sir. Is he teching? No, he's not teching yet. I'm not teching yet. It's expensive game expansions. So this is just a bit dancing, really. Trying to pick off what you can, or at least making everything vulnerable. The Archmage got low life, so he doesn't want to stick around too much. Which is a real plus for me because he's got the claws of attack plus uh, 5. So if he's in the battle just constantly hitting me, he can do a lot of damage. Paladin's still got a holy life or two, so I'm keeping the pressure on the Archmage whenever I can so he doesn't feel comfortable sticking around. He's got his expansion more or less secured now. I've got my expansion secured. He's going for his Arcane Vault to heal up. I need to get that tech going though. I'm actually back. 40 lumber shy. Rifle's in a good position. I don't know where his hero's messing around to. I don't think I really get any kills here, I just keep pressure on. It's hard because he's got the Arcane Vault and the Paladin's on that side, and the Archmage's got the range attacks. Fog of War, around. Try not to give the Archmage any quarter, and then more pressure on the Archmage consistently. So he never feels comfortable. I think he's got Defend by this point. So he's not really uh, in that much of a threat against my rifles. I know that he did this creek camp earlier, so I thought I'll go finish it off, actually. These are the games I played yesterday off-stream. Some of the... sometimes I play a bit off-stream. Just fancied it. Get myself level 3, which is really nice for those stronger heals. Basically full heals for the rifles. In a nice position here. He's doing that creek camp over there. Doesn't quite manage to finish it off in time, so I get some good damage on his economy. He's got defend, as you can see. So it's just the micro ses session right now. Kill the water mentals. The footman are way harder to kill. Try to save what you can. That's going to make it really infuriating for him. Just pull back anything that's getting really injured. Concentrate on what you think the Archmage is going to right click on as well. Including those rifles at the back, which is why I was ready to pull them away. Because you can kind of tell he's going to go for them. This is a bit of a clunky position. I really need to back off a bit quicker out of that one, but I think I get away with it. So, really successful for me. Don't lose a single thing. And I decide that I'm going to go use my healing scroll now, because why not? I pick it up. I know the shop is daytime. Got a healing scroll. Gonna enjoy this. Pretty narrow. Pretty close. He's just filling up his expansion again. Archmage healing up. He's got tier 2. Mountain King going straight into tier 3. I go straight into tier 3 as well. Rifles, Blood Mage. More secure expansion. Now's a good time to sneak around and just keep hitting that expansion, which is pretty exposed. Because he's only going to want to be aggressive or go creep something, so... Rifleman gives away his position. Unfortunately, Mountain King is there to keep that under control, so... Come over. Have a little... See what's going on over here. I could have put more effort into trying to focus down those peasants better. Now, this is a really horrible position. I go over here so I can maybe pick up the, um... Mercs as well. Blood Mage is on the left hand side, coming round. Stormbolt, Stormbolt, Stormbolt. Keep the Paladin going. Pressure on the Mountain King. He shouldn't have let his Mountain King get so hit there by my rifles. That was too aggressive. He needed to keep the Mountain King further back. Because if I can keep the Mountain King injured, then I can keep this whole fight under control. Or at least a lot more under control. Focusing Water Mentors. 
This is kind of a bad fight for me. I figured I would go. It would go a little bit better. I'm really out of mana on my paladin. I could transfer some. I'm trying to keep the mountain king out of mana as well. The defend is like closing in on my close position, but I decided to all in on this position, and I think it does somewhat pay off. I'm pretty sure I lose a lot of units here. I probably way overstay my welcome now. I could save like one more unit and then TP out here, in hindsight, but I don't think I do that. I just keep on shoving. So I, I end up losing quite a few bits here. Because there's no reason. There's not much else I could kill in that situation. The Ogre Mauler's got a lot of health. The Footmen aren't going to die. The Berserker will just run back. So I kind of did the damage I need to do. But I'm keeping the pressure on. Archmage in a bit of a pickle. Blood Mage should be coming up from the middle to the northeast. Oh, it's the Mountain King, actually. So this feels a bit alien to me, because I don't normally go Mountain King third hero, so I've got one, two, three. One Paladin, two Blood Mage, three Mountain King. Mountain King is ready to seal the deal. He wasn't expecting that. Uh, and then heal on Mr. Blood Mage. And this is where it gets good. He gets mighty salty, this game. Mighty salty indeed. It was quite fun and entertaining. Poor priest. Do I keep you alive? I think I do with a heal. Yeah, look at that. Really want to keep hitting that expansion though if I can. And just keep his heroes under control. So I'm always uh, feeling that power spike. <laughs> Job done. Play this game every day. You're 1700 with your main race. I don't actually play one versus one every day though. He only plays three games a week. This is a lie, by the way. I checked his profile afterwards. He was playing like nothing but two versus twos before this. This thing I know as my off race. Then why upset? Utterly garbage because I dislike losing to people who play like they have 50 IQ. I said, you've done well. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I love people that get really salty when they lose. I just love sort of like teasing them even more. It doesn't upset me at all. I just get so much satisfaction from it. So I'm just creeping a big spot up here. Soaking up more for my heroes. I could have pulled the Paladin out of that to give more experience to the lower level heroes. He's actually got a pretty menacing army though. Don't be dismayed. Like He's got 76 food. I've been um, hoarding a lot of gold though for first for RT star because I've had... Basically I haven't really lost many units at all during the entire game in comparison. So I got a little bit more lax with my macro in that regard. So I was getting ready. I wanted to go like um, Griffins hard, but I didn't go too hard on Griffins. I knew I still needed Knights to win the fight. Lightning Shield and here. Blood Mage in a precarious position, but it's okay. We can squeeze him back. He actually can't get any further back than that. That is technically a block there. And we can just basically tank a little bit with the Blood Mage. So Banish. Holy Light. Job done. And the Holy Light just arrived before the Bolt there, which is really nice. I'm pretty sure. Or either Light, just as it's sort of hitting. It was kind of weird. So, more economy damage, just keeping him in check. His knights are 1-1. One, one. I've only got 0-1 on my knights. So he's actually kind of got a stronger army than me right now. Despite the game not necessarily looking too good. I decided to take a moment to get a little bit more out of him. Playing the game like this, Job you shouldn't done. break. I can't even understand you. Job done. <laughs> How can he not understand that? Yeah, this might be a... What is that phrase where someone thinks they're better than they are? It's not like a Napoleon complex, because that's something else. It's like trying to bark at something bigger than you or whatever, you know. Maybe it is. I don't know. Just the you play 24 7 something. I'm winning pretty easily. Big difference. You're still awful. You got away. With a pally, fast expansion, unscouted. Exactly. If you lose this game, you need to uninstall. God, you're so dumb. Okay, man. You're very upset. I can see this. Says, dude, I'm losing brain cells just typing to you. Just stop. Good lord. 50 IQ more. I need to block this room. <laughs> I said, time to finish. Good game. Can't lose more brain cells. So, yeah, this is where I kind of like messed up much more of an army. I got knights. I still didn't do enough upgrades on my units. Now, I think I might have been able to TP and save this expansion. But I, because this guy is such a noisy, annoying git at this point, I'm just trying to finish off his base and sort of seal the deal. So I don't mind losing my expansion for this. Not necessarily the best move. He's got like inner fire. I could have got inner fire. I should have done really. So I'm missing out on inner fire, which makes the fights tougher for me because I'm missing out on five armor. So I did make some mistakes here. 
And I didn't get anywhere near as many upgrades as I should do. But the triple hero is pretty damn strong. As long as I can keep them going. And that was really the key in the fight. So he's got triple hero, but he's left it a bit late. Because he's only level 1 power in there. So that he's got dragon hawks to counter the griffins. But I didn't go too all in with the griffins. I decided to hold back a little bit. I was going to go like real hard on the griffins. But it turns out that he actually built like two griffin Averys here. I don't think I scouted that beforehand, so it's just advantageous that I didn't go too crazy. Because knights are definitely going to be useful. This is where it becomes a bit more clunky. It actually gets to a point where it's kind of hard to see what the heck's going on. But yeah, this is just a case of try to keep those dragon orcs under control. The knights are doing what they're doing. Keep the heroes going. Uh, I was going to try to banish... Yeah, there you go. Banish the griffin, holy light. Keep it alive as long as possible whilst the dragon hawks are being annoying. My knights should be slightly more numerous in number and priests are getting somewhat slow, but keeping them somewhat further back. Okay, and spreading two knights on each of these priests so I can get consistent damage there. It's just about trying to keep my heroes alive here. And it's very hard to tell what's going on in these kind of fights. I do get surrounding this hero, forcing him to TP out. I think he had a pretty successful fight, all things considering there, but definitely went well for me. I know he's trying to get back to save whatever he can, but it's kind of pointless at this stage. It's the buildings. He's actually forced to build farms over here just because I'm killing off his food supply. So this is where resources feel a bit more scarce, and we're getting into the final fight. Well, I sent the Griffins aggressively against the Dragonhawks because I thought I could keep those Dragonhawks under control by healing up my Griffins and stuff like that over time, but I didn't really have enough. Maybe if I had one or two more Griffins, I should have done something like that, or a Stormbolt on the Dragonhawk, but I don't think I actually went ahead with that. Paladin almost out of position. I kind of had a surround there, and then it did this thing where it just bumps a little bit, and then the unit can escape, so I didn't get too upset by that. I just concentrated and figured, well, okay, he's got away. Just concentrate on the fight at hand. Just keep this going. So when you get into a fight like this, it just looks like a blur sometimes. But I know that I just need to keep taking mana away from him and just try to consistently keep my units alive without losing heroes as well at the same time, which is easier said than done, because you can always have a big loot happen at any point. And I should be okay. I've got really high level paladins. I think I level 6 though. Resurrection would have been really nice. The orb on the paladins is very nice for dealing with the dragon orb. Keep the pressure on. You can see I'm not really losing much of anything here. Just keeping everything going. And he's about to start flipping again in a moment. Blood Mage with tons of mana. Barely wins a fight 30 food up. That was not 30 food up. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. And it's still your legit turn. Ugh, oh, what a nice chap. <laughs> So sometimes you just have these games off stream that you just wish you was recording because otherwise you kind of miss out on these gems of a moment. You can see we actually got very similar gold ratio here. I actually lost more gold to upkeep, so if anything he had more of an advantage resource-wise. But he kept blaming things on, you know, outside sources and stuff like that. It didn't really make sense. He just didn't really put much effort into his micro or anything else and just wanted to attack everything else without actually looking at the problems themselves or addressing them. Very angry. Very angry trap. He just needed to believe more. That's all.